All right, here we're going to look at some uh, more examples using the limit comparison test. So they're all going to be kind of uh, similar in nature, I think, in the sense that um, we can sort of uh, do, we're going to compare all of them to a, a P-series of some sort, um, is the idea. So in the first one here, so we've got the series from n equals 1 to infinity, 2 times the square root of n plus 3 over n plus 5. I'm going to do the same trick of, you know, keeping dominant terms. So in the denominator, you know, we've got the power of n to the first, you know, uh, nothing to worry about there. Uh, underneath the, the radical, um, we've got an n to the first power. So I'm going to keep that. But again, I'm going to keep it underneath the square root. So if we simplify this, this is n to the one-half over n to the first. If we subtract exponents, we'll just be left with 1 over n to the 1 half, and recall this is going to be a divergent p-series because our power is less than or equal to 1. So now we'll just do this limit comparison test. So the limit as n goes to infinity. So our original function, um, or our original series, will have 2 times the square root of n plus 3 over n plus 5. Again, this is what I'm going to compare it to. So normally we would just simply divide by, um, you know, well, we do divide by 1 over uh, n to the 1 half. But equivalently, uh, we can multiply by n to the 1 half over 1. Well, we can simplify this a little bit without too much trouble. Um, this is the limit as n goes to infinity. Again, n to the 1 half, that's the same thing as having it all under square root. Well, um, we'll have the square root of n times the square root of n plus 3. So we can multiply the n times the n plus 3. That'll give us n squared plus 3n. And then um, we've got n plus 5 in the denominator. So when we do the limit as n goes to infinity, um, what we could do is, uh, you know, we could start using L'Hopital's rule um, and, and see what happens in that case. I think actually it, it's going to... Uh, might not work. Um, it's certainly valid to use it infinity over infinity. Um, so you can try it, see if L'Hopital's rule works. Um, or what we can do is, I'm going to divide everything by the highest power um, of n that appears in the denominator. So these are kind of like limits that you see in first semester calculus, uh, these limits at infinity. So again, equivalently, dividing by n is going to be equivalent to multiplying by 1 over n. So in the denominator, no problem. We would have 1 plus 5 over n. Um, I'm going to rewrite the 1 over n as 1 over n squared. Then we still have the square root of n squared plus 3n. Well, again, I'm just going to keep simplifying the numerator. We've got our 2. So we could distribute the 1 over n squared to the n squared plus uh, 3n underneath the radical. And that would give us n squared over n squared, which is 1. And then we would have 3n over n squared, or 3 over n. Uh, we've got 1 plus 5 over n. As n goes to infinity, 3 over n is going to go to 0. 5 over n will also go to 0. So we'll be left with uh, 2 times the square root of 1 plus 0 over 1 plus 0. And that'll leave us with our value of 2. So in this case, we got our, po our positive finite number. Um, again, since the original series that we're comparing it to is a divergent p-series, that means that our starting series was also uh, must be divergent.